As hunting season draws closer, the Michigan Department of Natural Resources wants hunters to be aware of new regulations impacting the fall 2024 season. Lenita Brooks joins us in studio with what you need to know before you put on that camouflage. Lenita. Yeah, well, the number of hunters in Michigan has fallen the past 20 years. And part of the DNR's goals with these new regulations is to get more hunters out and for a longer period of time. There's, I think, some great positives there. Um, and I know it's not going to, you know, everybody's not going to, they're not going to make everybody happy. But he hopes the new regulations will still encourage people to get out there and partake in the sport. Michigan's Natural Resources Commission has approved scheduled deer hunting regulations, some of which go into place this fall. Looking at like what they have changed um, and the areas that I hunt, it'll you know give me a couple more weeks if I want you know to provide you know to harvest harvest a deer and provide maybe for myself or uh, friends and family. A new extended late antlerless firearm season is open from January 2nd through the 12th in a number of counties, including Saginaw, Bay, Genesee, Midland, and Shiawassee. The new regulations also move the number of antlerless deer hunting permits from 1,000 to zero in the Mid-East UP and from 1,000 to 500 in the Midwest UP. It might have been a little more beneficial if maybe the more doe tags, you know, 10 doe tags is a lot for people. You know, I don't know how many people will take advantage of that, especially at the, the full price. And beginning in 2025, the youth and liberty hunt will be antlerless only. Changing that to, you know, taking a taking a doe, you know, before you can take, a, you know, an actually buck. Um, I mean, I'm for just like any other, but anybody else out in the woods, you know, you want to put a trophy on the wall. But as a sportsman, you know, we got to look at the animals too, because if we don't do our part to try to thin them out, some nature's going to do it for us, and then we're really going to be in a bind. And baiting regulations remain unchanged, and early and late antlerless season counties remain unchanged from last year. In studio, Lenita Brooks, WNEM TV5.